Hello, and welcome to the third presentation of Module 2 of the MELDEP project. This presentation is part of the Online Communication and Collaboration module, which includes the following topics. Netiquette, Organizational Communication, Professional Collaboration, Self-Promotion and Managing Digital Identity, and Technology-Enabled Citizenship. In this presentation, we will look into professional collaboration. This topic aims to equip teachers with the knowledge how to use digital technologies to engage in collaboration with other educators, to share and exchange knowledge and experience, and collaboratively innovate pedagogic practices. To meet these aims, this presentation will begin with an introduction to professional collaboration and its benefits. We will move on to look at different online tools which we can use to collaborate with others to create material, to share and exchange knowledge, and we will also look at ways to create professional collaboration for professional development using online professional learning networks, or PLNs. Let's consider this quote here for a minute. If our ultimate destination as educators is students' achievement and professional development, we need to think of teacher collaboration as the journey. Collaboration is not a task to complete and then move on. It's an ever-changing, ongoing process that is only enhanced by social networks and access to new technology. Collaboration in the past was limited at best due to the costly constraints of time and space. However, in the 21st century, collaboration is no longer limited by these constraints. The change in professional education has been quick, enabled by the many tools that we now use for collaboration. Technology has provided us with the ability to communicate, collaborate and co-create with any number of educators globally at any time and at very little cost. Now, let's take a deeper look into how teacher collaboration can benefit everyone involved. It can result to increased academic effort. Since teachers who collaborate on instruction are all on the same page, they can focus and combine their efforts in their various courses to help students meet the core competencies they aim for. It can also lead to increased understanding of student data. Teachers are better equipped to deconstruct relevant data for celebrating success and analyzing failures of an individual student. This, in turn, will offer a more person-centered support to students tailored to their needs. It can also offer innovating pedagogic practices. When teachers collaborate and share ideas, they also share an enlarged repertoire of instructional strategies that encourages creative instructions and also gives teachers access to more resources. Finally, it can lead to less teacher isolation. Having the opportunity to share ideas and information combats professional loneliness and frustration, which improves staff morale and professional satisfaction. Now that we have analyzed the benefits of professional collaboration for teachers, the next step is to figure out how to put it in practice. Here, we present you with different ways and tools to start collaborating with others today to co-create material, share and exchange knowledge. Starting with co-creating material. Two heads are better than one. This might sound cliche, but it perfectly encapsulates the benefits of educators co-creating material. Do you think you spend too much time planning lessons? Does lesson planning keep you from more productive work? Does it seem a little counterintuitive to create lesson plans from scratch when there is a whole department of like-minded people who could be working together? You're not alone. Traditional lesson planning can be time consuming. It can be draining and solitary work, which is why so many in the profession have turned to collaborative lesson planning. And technology has made it easier for them to work together. These are a few useful tools for you to start co-creating material and resources. TitanPad is an online collaborative document editor that makes it incredibly simple for teachers to co-create lesson plans and resources in real time and track revisions. Chalk helps teachers save time and get organized while encouraging collaboration on resources and lesson plans. Best of all, it's free for individual teachers. 
Finally, Google Docs is an easy to use and very well known tool for, chair, for sharing and collaborating on resources quickly and easily. Why stop at planning the lesson? Why not collaborate in delivering it too? Collaborative teaching, sometimes called cooperative teaching or team teaching, involves educators working in tandem to lead, instruct and mentor groups of students. There are countless benefits of collaborative instruction and through the use of technology, this has become easier as you can co-teach without even being in the same building. Through virtual co-teaching, you can offer students the opportunity to understand the content and connect with different teachers. You expose students to different, to different teaching styles. You can create new experiences for students. Through collaborative teaching, students are given access to a wider berth of knowledge outside of their physical classroom and traditional school walls. You can also promote digital citizenship, a vital life skill in today's network society. Through virtual collaborative teaching, students get the opportunity to observe and practice elements of netiquette firsthand in a virtual environment. You can also enhance student engagement. The classroom becomes more open and engaging for the learners compared to the traditional cl classroom. These are a few useful tools to help you venture into the world of redefined digital collaboration. Some of these tools you're probably already familiar with. Firstly, Zoom is a useful tool to use for virtual co-teaching with other educators. Zoom allows teachers around the world to interact in real time with classrooms, to record sessions, share screen, and much more. Another very well-known tool, Skype can also be useful in teaching. It shares similar features to Zoom, but it can also provide educational opportunities for both teachers and students by connecting them with other teachers, classrooms, and experts around the world. Twiddler also provides a really easy to use collaborative online whiteboard and a great set of tools to be used for co-teaching online. So, what are you waiting for? Get creative. Do you know a fellow educator that teaches the same subject or grade level? Team teach across the miles. Or you can decide who is the expert on the day's topic and let them teach while the other teacher supports students in person. Lastly, what with hectic scheduling and constant teaching demands, teachers can find it quite hard to undertake professional development and learning to improve their teaching practices. Professional development and networking are vital in any field, and that's especially true for educators. As our world becomes increasingly interconnected through web-based technologies, developing your virtual personal learning network can support your lifelong learning efforts. Firstly, let's examine what we mean by professional learning networks, or PLNs. PLNs consist of people who create connections and develop networks that contribute to their professional development and knowledge. Virtual PLNs can offer many benefits. First of all, you can connect anytime, anywhere with anyone. The web can help you overcome networking barriers related to time, place, and social distance. It's now entirely possible to have a PLN that spreads out across your country and even around the world. People whose voices you've never even heard and whose faces you've never even seen. Although these digital relationships may not be close on a personal level, they can be immensely powerful in terms of influencing your teaching practices. Another benefit of PLNs is their low cost. There is, a, there is a variety of social platforms you can use to create a PLN, and most of them are totally free. We will explore a few examples on the following slide. It can also save you time. Virtual PLNs can be the solution to the busy scheduling of modern teachers, as you can connect with other professionals at the click of a button. It can also help you develop your professional rep reputation and identity. Establishing an online presence and participating in virtual discussions and e-courses helps other, others in your field to get to know you. Last, but certainly not least, you can learn more about innovative practices. You can learn about the latest trends in education and get support when needed. You'll never run out of ideas for new things to improve your teaching. We've seen how great professional learning networks can be, but how can you actually make one? 
there are a few ways teachers can create online PLNs. First, we have online educational platforms. These types of platforms, such as eTwinning and Edmodo, can offer various professional development opportunities for teachers, such as online seminars, discussions, or online short courses. Next, we have social media platforms. There's a variety of social platforms that can be used to create PLNs. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest are but a few. There's a growing trend of teachers using Twitter to connect to a global network of educators to share and solve a wide range of educational problems. Then we have educational blogs. Teachers can develop their PLN by engaging with various educational blogs developed by other educators, such as the Educators PLN, which is a blog that facilitates connection between educators. Additionally, it features a plethora of resources you can learn from, such as downloadable podcasts with education leaders as guest speakers, discussion groups with specific purposes, with topics such as the exploration of, uh, of the iPads used in the classroom, for example, and links to other relevant resources. Finally, here are a few tips for you to help you start building your own online PLM. Firstly, you need to find your purpose. Think about your goals and interests. Think about what your short-term and long-term learning goals are, who the related experts are, and where you might find the information. For example, are you looking for a new approach to a classroom problem for tomorrow's lesson? Do you want to try out a new tech tool? Perhaps you'd like to learn about a general topic over time. Once you have the answers to these questions, the route you need to take becomes a lot clearer. Start small and observe. If you want to start following blogs, for example, start with three or four, not 20. Uh, if you want to experiment with social media, pick one platform, get to know it well, and start connecting. Sit back, watch, and learn. Observe how people share information on your chosen platform, enjoy, and apply the ideas. Explore spiraling out. Once you start connecting with people related to your interests, try to find out who they are connected to and add those second level contacts where appropriate. Most importantly, enjoy the experience. As you become more comfortable with a media type or a tool, you might want to start contributing your own expertise and experiences to inspire others. So, what did we look at today? We saw that professional collaboration has many benefits to offer to teachers, and it can take many forms, such as co-creating materials, collaborative teaching, and professional development through professional learning networks, or PLNs. So, we hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you would like to know more about this project, you can visit our website at meldaproject.eu. You can find this material in presentation format on the Projects E platform. Until next time.